Hey everyone, this is Sandy Reese with StampinCrew.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Want to wish you a happy new year for 2022. Very excited to get this year off to a roaring start, especially with stamping. So today I wanted to share another card with you using the Friendly Hello stamp set from the Celebration brochure. And this is also coordinated or comes with the Friendly Hello designer paper. Just showing you a quick sample. Um, this is the second side. We have this petal pink pattern. This is the back. Oh, can't seem to pick it up here. Okay, we've got this one and the backs here. So these two go really well together. Then we have the polka dot, we have a petal pink floral, we have a fun colored stripe, a green, a pool party, and another green. Lots of great patterns in here. Okay, so um, let's get to this. I am also going to be using the Basic Borders die and the Layering, layering Circles dies. I used, these, um, I used this one on my card Thursday. And then today I'm going to be using this fun little zigzag um, die. All right, so we're gonna start with a granny apple green card base. And all the measurements will be posted on my blog. And then, uh, let's see, I, this is kind of a darker, a little bit darker color, so I have a piece of white to go on the inside. I'm gonna stamp that in on just a minute. And then we have a piece of basic black, and then I have this stripe paper. And then on the other side is the big uh, white flowers on the, the granny apple green base. But what I want to do is with this paper, uh, I'm going to, if I can pick this up, <laughs> die cut this. Now these points are every half an inch. This is five inches, so, I can uh, line up my tips of these two, um, what do you call them? I guess mountain mountain tips or zigzags um, or chevrons right here on the top and the bottom of the paper. Now in theory, it should uh, cut out the same on both sides. So let's see if that happens. <laughs> my practice one did not. I was off just a hair. Um, I'm gonna just have a little more of that showing. The trick is to try to get it as straight as possible and to get the, the points lined up as straight as possible. All right, we'll see if that works. All right, I'm hoping, slide that. See, I moved it. <laughs> That's the problem, you can't move it. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully straight. Okay, let's get this crank through here. I love how smooth this, this die cutter, die cutting machine is. Okay. Now, in theory, <laughs> I have the, that's pretty close to being exact, but not exact. But what I want to do is just flip this and then hoping that it lines up. So it's not, you know, lined up perfectly, but that's okay. So I'm going to just put a little bit of tape there to hold it together and see if I need to trim it just a hair. All right. So this is the back. All right, so you can kind of see, if you look at the black, I, I got it off just a hair, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is just take it and just, just trim it on either side so it looks like it's supposed to be that way. Hopefully trimming that as straight as I can. You could use a paper trimmer too. All right. So now I'm going to 
adhere this right to the black cardstock. Let's get our seal adhesive. And you could do either side, whichever one you like the, be the best, you could have be the bigger paper. But I wanted the, the green flower paper right there. All right, I'm gonna take now a little bit of the um, Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. I'm gonna tape this around. I love this paper. I'm going to use it today to make some birthday cards when I am done filming. All right, so we have that. Let's put this on our card front. All right, now I've die cut, just going crazy, I die cut a white circle and I'm going to use the bird image on this, this card. Yesterday, or Friday, I Saturday, what day, what day of the week is it? Thursday, the days are all running together. Thursday, I used the big flowers. So today I'm using the bird. But what I want to do, because the leaves are dark here, I want everything the memento, but I don't want these leaves to be black. So I'm going to use my blender pen, and I'm just going to take that black ink off of the leaves. So you can do this if you have any any kind of big stamp where it has some colors you don't want on there, you want to do that part a different color, you can just um, just take it off with a blender pen and then I'm going to come in with Granny Apple Green up to where the black ink is and color the leaf. Okay, and then we have one more leaf over here. And then some of those flowers are kind of overlapping that leaf. All right. So this will only work with the Stampin' Right markers. It will not work with the blends. I'm going to go ahead and, whoops. I have, I see fingers. Let's flip that over. I'm going to give it a little huff since I colored it with markers. And I can't see what I'm doing on the white. I want to make sure I get it all on my circle here. Cute! So my leaves are already green and I don't have to color them. So I'm going to color my bird with my pool party blends and I'm just doing a little bit of my dark blue, kind of shading in a little bit here. I'm, I'm not a huge shader, so I just kind of go put it in there and then do my fill in with the lighter shade. And then if I want to blend just a little bit more, I'll use the, the little hard tip there here. Okay, now I think I'm going to, since I used the Fresh Freesia ribbon, I'm going to use this for the, for the flowers too. And just doing a quick coloring with the dark, kind of on our lines. And then we'll use the, the lighter Fresh Freesia blend to blend in. There's not a huge difference on this one. This is light. Yep, this is light. that other one this was dark yep dark okay and then I'm just going to use I think this is light crumb cake I'm just going to do a little bit of color on the branch I didn't want to do a dark color this is all 
kind of light and pastel -y. All right. I am going to pop this up. Let's see if we have some dimensionals. Just going to put three on here. my bird here. Then I'm going to use some of these awesome iridescent rhinestones. I love these things. These are like my favorite thing in the catalog. I'm going to use a large for the big, the big center and a medium for this other center. I love these because they kind of take on whatever color is close to them, which I just think is so cool. All right. So I want to put a sentiment. So I've cut a strip. It's just 3 8 inch wide. And on the stamp set it has, hope you have the best birthday. But I wanted to cut this in half and just do hope you have the dot, dot, dot. And then on the inside we can put best birthday. So I have cut them apart. And just, I can put them back together on a block if I want to stamp them together. Uh, I need to see what I'm doing here. So I put that on my green so I can see. And we're going to stamp, hope you have the, and then on the inside, we're going to stamp best birthday. Let's just get this out. Maybe that's straight. Oh, that looks, that looks pretty good. I will accept that. All right, let's this down although I do I seem to have some black ink on my fingers um, hmm. I had a paper towel up here a minute ago all right let's get our card going the right direction first though all right pop that in there and then on here I want to do a dot 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 so I'm just using my black blends one two three Hope you have the dot, 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 best birthday. And let's just do a little flagging. All right. I am going to, I want this at the same level as the um, bird. So I'm going to adhere with a little seal adhesive there and then put a piece of pop-up on the other end. Let's see, I have a little bit of scrap right here. And everything's sticking to me. We're just going to put it right here. Kind of overlap. And that's it. Isn't that cute? All right. So in the description below, I post a link to my blog and it has measurements and supplies and how you can earn this whole, um, the stamp set and the designer paper bundle for free with an, uh, an order from our celebration catalog. And um, if you want to use the host code posted below, uh, I am sending a free gift to everyone who um, places an order for at least $50 with that host code this month. So um, I appreciate you, you checking in today and I will see you with one more card featuring the Friendly Hello stamp set and designer paper on Monday. And we have a fun technique that we're going to be doing. All right. Thanks everybody. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.